Everybody, Earl of Suave here, presenting another recent final find. Um, I want to thank all my six subscribers. I'm up to six, and I just want to say if I get up to ten, I'm gonna have a giveaway. I'm gonna give away my car and eight thousand dollars if I get up to ten within the next thirty seconds. No, actually, you guys, my subscribers, that is all I need. I'm not looking to get to 10 or 100 or 500. No, what I got is what I need here because I watch all your videos and I'm learning a lot and really enjoying everything. It's, uh, this channel is uh, devoted completely to vinyl. And ex except for one, I have Ivy Mike is on there. Check him out. And what Ivy Mike does, he goes to all the concerts in the Philadelphia area. If you like neo, psychedelic, shoegaze type of music, I suggest you check out his channel. What I like about it, he has a nice camera and he, he holds it steady it's, and, and it sounds really good. And uh, you get a nice experience. Some of those videos, they're all over the place and you, I, get, I get nauseous watching some of these uh, concert videos. But that's a good one. But this is a uh, channel dedicated to vinyl, so let's bring it out. I haven't been slacking. I got a couple things here to show you. This one here. Ramsey Lewis. Let's get Ramsey. We'll hang on Sloopy. And I got this as a uh, Big Bopper had a thing on about music uh, bringing you back to a time in your life. And I remember my father is a drummer. And uh, when I was a little kid, we had all these kids running around. He couldn't afford a set of drums. And what he would do is pull all the pots and pans down and lay it all out there and put on a Ramsey Lewis or a Mongo Santa Maria record and just start uh, playing the pots and pans and uh, we were all dancing around it was a lot of funny so we had a good time. So this uh, always has great memories for me and it's good music. I picked up this in the store, it's uh, Jimi Hendrix, the uh, Live at Clark University. Got the uh, Fire Red House, Foxy Lady. I like live albums. I never heard this, and I'm a big Jimi Hendrix fan, so uh, I uh, look forward to hearing this. This is um, Crosby Nash Live. It's a concert when it was a '77 concert. It's uh, remastered in 2000. I like Crosby and Nash. I like Crosby, Stills and Nash, and Young. But when these two guys got together, I really enjoyed what they did. So I'll look at that, and again, live concert. And here we go, You're Never Alone with a Schizophrenic, Ian Hunter, from the, uh, uh, all the young dudes, Mott the Hoople, lead front man, Mott the Hoople, and then Ian Hunter um, got together with uh, Mick Ronson. Back in the early Bowie days, uh, Mick Ronson was David Bowie's guitar player, and I thought he was a great producer, great guitar player. And uh, that song, All the Young Dudes, that was written by Bowie, of course. But he, he was great. So, And uh, I always like guitar players. So this is uh, 10 years after. All right. This is the uh, English blues rock band. And um, the famous I'm Going Home at Woodstock. So another uh, great album. And then here's this one. I got this one, Frampton's Camel. Now, I'm at the point, I don't have many records, so when I go through the records, finding these are like seeing long lost children or something. I, uh, I think Peter Frampton, uh, he was the uh, guitar player in um, Humble Pie. And uh, Humble Pie, we, uh, you know, when you're a kid, like when you're 15 years old and like you're very uh, judgmental about groups, and 
deciding what's cool and what's not cool. And uh, Humble Pie was not cool for some reason. And uh, because by fiat, as knuckleheads, we just say you're not cool. But then, yeah, as time goes on, um, Frampton went on his own. I saw him in concert in New York at the uh, used to be the Academy of Music. Opening band Kiss, never heard of them before. And then Peter Fran was such a great guitar player. I lost touch with him when he got into that Sgt. Pepper kind of stuff like that. And, uh, and then he did that, uh, Do You Feel Like We Do? I kind of lost a little bit, but this is a fine album. This is, this is really great. This is where he uh, did the first song, uh, Do You Feel Like We Do? That's where it came from. So, um, I uh, ha have some stuff coming in the mail, which is pretty exciting, so maybe my next one. Uh, I'll show you what, what you got in there, some goodies. And then I'm going to be going away for a little bit, for a week, take a trip. And uh, that, that might be a special video too, about uh, going to another city and uh, shopping for vinyl records. Wishing you all the best. Happy holidays. Enjoy. Hope you get a lot of records for Christmas. And uh, keep the videos coming. I'm watching all of them. I'm digging up the most, all right? Talk to you later.